Hi Leo, welcome to your reading. This is a general love reading, so it may or may not resonate with all of you. Let's start and let's first shuffle your deck four times. So let's see. First I want to start with what happened in the past, why it all happened, so you better know if this is your reading, if this reading resonates with you. Seven of Pentacles and the Seven of Cups. At the bottom is the Six of Pentacles. I'm getting the impression that this connection may have not been mutual, it may have been one-sided, and someone was getting advantage of the other person, getting all the attention and not giving much. But the other person, it may have been you. Uh, you were so tolerating, waiting, waiting, planning, thinking, maybe uh, uh, believing that if it could uh, take more time to get to know each other, things could be improved. But uh, this person led you to more confusion than clarity and they may have kept their options open as well. Now let's see what are your current energies. You may have come to a realization that the connection with this person was toxic, was not healthy. They may have lied or been a manipulator. You have that clarity now, but you still keep thinking about this past connection. Now let's see what may be affecting you in your subconscious. The fact that you can't forget the past. You may have tried dating new people, you may already have a new option, or you already may have a new option soon, if not yet, but you still will be hesitant to give all the attention to this new possible connection, because in the back of your mind, there's this person again. Now let's see more details about how do you view the situation. How do you view the situation? You want to finally make a decision. You want to be more decisive and not hesitate so much. <clears throat> because all this hesitation has led you to lots of overthinking and stress and anxiety. Now let's see more details. You want to be in a connection that is fair, that is balanced and harmonious. That is your focus. And your fear is to give attention to a person that does not deserve it. To give attention to a person that does not deserve it. Maybe this past person has triggered you um, these uh, fears. That's why you may be hesitant. Maybe other people are not so honest with you or the fact that this person just may have liked the attention and the compliments and the care uh, you gave them and may have given very little back because they were not quite attracted there the connection may have been quite uh, it, it may have seen, it may have been percepted as quite passionate and strong and powerful with the devil there, but maybe it was just physical attraction for at least one partner. Let's see what is the overall energy for the second week of April for Leo. You will find happiness again. I think uh, you may be nearer to a fulfilling connection than you may be thinking. Yes, you will be in a fulfilling, happy connection soon. Or the con new connection, if, you, if there's a new connection and you may be indecisive, this uh, connection, uh, this new connection may be the one. You may even marry this person and be long term with them. Now let's see again. Let's jump back to let's jump back to this past person. What is their energy towards you? Maybe another deal. 
they miss your warmth, your care, your attention. Uh, they miss it and that's why they want to reconnect, at least in a friendly way. But still, still this person has not changed that much. If this person was quite conflictual or played games, they may do the same again. Let's see, at the bottom we have the Nine of Swords. They think a lot about you. They think a lot about maybe a comeback or initiating conversation. They miss the good old times with you. They miss the good old times with you. Now let's see their possible actions towards you, if any, for the second week of April. Yes, they want to take a leap of faith and uh, try, try the chance. They are being quite logical, in fact, at this moment. They are not sure. Do you have feelings or the connection is already dead? If the connection is already over and that chapter is closed. That's why they may be hesitating a bit, but uh, they want to take a leap of faith there. Let's see why the, why the Empress some of you may be dealing with a Taurus or an Aries or an air sign. They are not sure if that reconnection, if it, it, if it happens, uh, can lead to something long-lasting, happy and stable. There's lots of resistance. They are not sure about your feelings as well. They need lots of time to think about it. So they want to come towards you. They want to tell you that now, from a serious and detached person, they have feelings for you. But they are resisting it. They are thinking a lot about making that move. At least they want a friendly reunion with you. The connection may have been quite heavy in the past. Now let's see about their feelings. Do they really have feelings? And... Uh, how do they view you? What are their intentions and the energies of the connection and you and them? If you want to watch the extended of this video, because this reading continues in the extended now, you can find it now in the description box below. See you the next reading and bye for now.